This is the NBC5 News at 10. Police chase the bad guys, but who pays the price? I turned my head. My son was hit. We reveal the startling number of police pursuits that are killing and hurting innocent people. Plus, innocent bystanders killed and hurt in police pursuits. I turned my head. My son was hit. The startling numbers and where it's happened near you, NBC5 investigates. NBC5 investigates. We hear a lot about police shootings, but the Justice Department says police chases are the most dangerous police activity. And USA Today says more people die in Chicago police pursuits than anywhere but Los Angeles. Now, we've discovered scores of pursuits here that killed or hurt hundreds of innocent bystanders, and the death toll is rising. Here's Phil Rogers. They're riveting to watch. 90 miles an hour right now. But on the ground, they can be tragic. These are just some of the faces of innocent bystanders killed in the Chicago area in the last three years as a result of police chases. NBC5 Investigates has uncovered 141 pursuit-related crashes throughout the Chicago area over the last 10 years, resulting in 108 people killed and another 216 injured, the vast majority of those innocent bystanders. I turned my head. My son was hit. Last summer, 13-month-old Dylan Harris was at this bus stop with his mother and two sisters headed to the beach when a murder suspect who Chicago police had been chasing for three and a half miles jumped the sidewalk and crashed into Dylan in his stroller. He was strapped in, but he hit him so hard he flew out the stroller. Dylan was killed instantly. When they were chasing at high speed through residential neighborhoods, it's inevitable that these chases end in tragedy. Incidents like Dylan's aren't supposed to happen. In Chicago, police are supposed to apply a balance test, weighing the severity of the crime against factors like how congested the streets are, what time of day it is. But those rules are 12 pages long. A lot to consider when lives are on the line. Putting lives at risk is a very risky business. Dr. Jeffrey Alpert has studied police chases around the world. He's especially critical of Chicago's policy, arguing that police should only chase the most violent offender. Even if that means sometimes letting the bad guy get away. They need to be more restrictive. They need to slow these things down and, and protect their own citizens. But the problem is growing. NBC5 Investigates has found the number of bystanders killed in the Chicago area has jumped threefold since 2013 with a total of 36 innocent people killed in the last 10 years. And most, we found, were not pursuits of violent offenders. Take the case of 18-year-old Brian DeWitt. He was a great kid, always fun, always joking. Brian was turning onto 95th Street when an Evergreen Park police cruiser crashed into his car. His parents were called to the hospital. They told us to hold his feet because we couldn't get close to him. They were pumping and pumping and pumping, and then they just finally called it. He was gone. The officer who hit Brian had been going up to 90 miles an hour in an unmarked cruiser trying to catch up to a speeding car. He never activated lights or siren or called in to dispatch regarding what he was doing. And he was never disciplined. The DeWitts eventually received a civil settlement from the village for two and a half million dollars. In fact, in a 10 year period, NBC5 investigates found Chicago area taxpayers have paid out more than $95 million for victims of police pursuits. When you start talking about lives and people in wheelchairs and people disabled because of a pursuit that never should have happened, you can't put a dollar amount on that. Neither the Chicago Police Department nor the police in Evergreen Park would comment on camera. You can find out much more on our investigation on our website, including profiles of innocent victims, a map of deadly pursuits throughout Chicago and the suburbs, and a look at the startling lack of reporting and review of these cases. Just download the NBC Chicago app. Phil Rogers, NBC5 Investigate.